On Monday, the Clark County District Court paused jury trials again amid an increase of COVID-19 cases. The delay will add to a backlog of civil cases put on hold since March. In a Fox 5 special report, Enzo Marino explains how the courts are trying to get their caseloads under control. Unresolved legal cases are piling up in Clark County after months of shutdown. People may think, well, what's the rush? But there are people who have already been waiting years and months for a trial. Not only did the trial stop, that discovery period stopped, which was push everything else down the road. The longer we wait, the more and more of a backlog that we see. In September, criminal cases started again. The main focus and priority was on criminal trials because I'm sure as you're aware, there are individuals in custody at the Clark County Detention Center that have invoked their right to a trial within 60 days. Before the pandemic, the Regional Justice Center could use 32 courtrooms at once. Now, only two. We have reconfigured two courtrooms at the Regional Justice Center into what we refer to as COVID courtrooms. Those courtrooms are being used for criminal cases only, and people who are involved in civil litigation are losing patience. It's a big part of their life, and to have a trial hanging over their head like a cloud, and to have that continue, they would like to just have that cloud removed from their life. That backlog is tremendous. And because the priority has been given in the criminal arena, then the civil arena has had to take a back seat. To get civil cases resolved by a jury, the Regional Justice Center has transformed a large space at the Las Vegas Convention Center into a COVID courtroom. We're dealing here with a room that's about 1,600 square feet, which is much bigger than the courtrooms that we have at the Regional Justice Center. The change in venue takes some getting used to. It's odd when you first walk in because we're so used to our criminal and civil justice system that we have at the Regional Justice Center. So obviously when you look around here, it's a lot different, right? I mean, this is a vast amount of space. Attorneys like Mark Losey are seeing it for the first time. Uh, it, it, it appears to me that um, we're going to have to speak quite loudly for everybody to hear us clearly. It is much more of a distance type feel. Normally we would all be a lot closer together, um, a little bit more of an intimate feeling. Some of the intimacy uh, looks like it's going to be lost. There are some good things about the modified setup, like the new jury box. Everything will be displayed right in front of them on their personal monitor. So that's something that is really great technology wise for the jurors that is different than when we were, if we were in our actual courtroom. With the addition of the monitors, it looks like the court is trying really hard to take care of some concerns uh, that were probably foreseeable. Everyone will have to make adjustments. The biggest difference I hear from attorneys, and I probably would have to agree with them, is that everyone wears masks. We're going to have challenges of being able to read a jury's uh, response uh, through their facial expressions. An attorney uh, might be looking at a juror's reaction to how a witness is testifying. If we're trying to pick up any cues or anything that they might be communicating, it would be a big part of that is the facial expression. The switch won't be easy. It just adds uh, extra stress to an already stressful uh, situation like a trial. It adds more unknowns uh, to other unknowns. And there's still unanswered questions, like who will the changes benefit, the plaintiff or defendant, and how will the jury be impacted? Will a jury tune out uh, because they're spread out uh, or because they're nervous uh, with health, um, that they're not examining all the evidence or paying attention to key points in a trial. It's this constant balance of making sure people's legal rights are protected, but we also need to protect the health and safety of jurors and everyone else in the room. So there's give and take that everybody are going to have to uh, partake in in order for us to make it an effective and efficient system. Court proceedings at the Las Vegas Convention Center will be open to the public when it resumes. A spokesperson said the court will look to the state and county for guidance on when it's safe to restart both criminal and civil jury trials.